Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this session, I am going to give you a brief introduction to this chapter 4. And this chapter is about the basic geometrical ideas. And when I say basic, the word basic is very important here. What we mean by basic is that these ideas are the very foundation of the study of geometry. So let us have a look at what we are going to study in this chapter. First, I will give you a quick introduction about what do we mean by geometry. What is the basic meaning of geometry? And then we start our discussion with the most fundamental concept in geometry, that of a point. What do we mean by a point? We take in some example and I'll show you how do we represent points on paper. Then we move on to the next concept which is that of a line segment. And then we build upon our learnings of line segment and define what do we mean by a line in geometry. Once we understand the concept of a line, we go ahead and discuss what do we mean by intersecting lines. And in which scenario can we say that lines are intersecting. Then we also discuss what do we mean by parallel lines. What is the definition of parallel lines? And having discussed that, we move ahead to understand the concept of a ray. What do you mean by a ray? Then we move ahead further and discuss the concept of curves. What do we mean by curves? And then we discuss the three types of curves. A simple curve, open curve, and closed curve and then we also understand how do we determine a position of a particular point in a closed curve after that we come to very very important concept of a polygon so we define what is a polygon and then we also discuss the basic terminology that is associated with polygons so we'll be discussing about what do we mean by sides of a polygon, what do we mean by vertices of a polygon, what do we mean by the diagonals of a polygon. So we will understand this using examples. Then we build upon our earlier knowledge and then understand what do we mean by an angle. When is an angle formed? How is an angle represented? And then we move ahead and understand a very, very important geometrical concept of triangles. Tri means three and angles means angle. So three angles. So we'll see what interesting uh, properties are there for these triangles. Of course, we'll be covering it in very brief now. Then we understand what do we mean by quadrilaterals and what are the basic terminologies associated with the quadrilaterals. Then we continue our discussion further on the circles. What do we mean by circles and what are the various concepts that we need to understand when we are discussing circles. Now please keep in mind that these concepts that I have listed here are extremely important for us to be able to understand geometry. These are the basic building blocks of geometry. This is what you will be studying in your higher classes but you will be exploring all these concepts in more detail. Once we discuss all this I will take one example of a book, a simple book that everybody uses and everybody is familiar with and then I will help you apply all these concepts that we have learned on taking this book. So the main goal is to try to correlate the geometrical ideas that we have learned here in our day to day lives. Please remember geometry as a field has to do with real life. It's mainly about application. So I'll just take one small example and show you how do we apply geometry in our day-to-day -day lives. So see you soon in the next session.